Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be having a look at a plugin from Pixel Film Studios called FCPX Theme Suite Slides. And this is a collection of slide based themes for Final Cut Pro. So it says here whether you need a theme template for an action packed highlight reel a slideshow for professional photos or something completely unique for your channel there's a theme for you within the fcpx theme suite slides uh, so this is from pixel film studios and it comes with a variety of controls that you could use to customize until your heart's content they say so today we're going to be having a quick look at this plugin just to see how easy or difficult these themes are to use um, you can see here if you go onto their website there are a few examples of uh, the type of slideshows that you can create if you are interested in this plugin uh, as usual you just go to their website have a look at these specs um, this one isn't too spec heavy on your machine so um, the main requirements really just to double check that you are up to speed with the well, one of the latest versions of Final Cut Pro so this uh, does require 10.5.4 uh, your Mac OS system and graphics card information and the RAM of course um, shouldn't be too process heavy as I say uh, so it does tell you here it's compatible with Apple Silicon M1 and also Intel processors so uh, without any further ado let's jump into Final Cut Pro and let's see how to use these themes Okay, so here we are in Final Cut Pro. Once you've downloaded the software, you should see this here under your Titles tab. And you'll see this here under the FCPX Theme Suite Slides section. They're all title templates. So as you can see here, we've got it starting from uh, a section called Antique Slides, uh, down to Bit Picks. You've got uh, quite a few templates uh, within these sections, as you can see. You've got BW Fashion. These are all in alphabetical order, as you'd expect. Uh, we've got the Corporate Slideshow. Lots of themes here. Expressions. Fashion Curves. As I say, lots here. Photo Cut. So we'll be having a look at some of these. Um, what you'll also find are for two of these themes in the transition section here on the right hand side you've got photo reel and photo shift so where necessary you can use these as your standard Final Cut Pro transitions uh, but mainly what you'd normally do as a template is to bring this down to your timeline now I've already filled this out with a gap clip so you it's up to you as to how you want to start this off you can either put it to the main timeline itself or you can put it on top gap clip like so uh, and the idea is that you'll basically be stacking these on top of each other um, so I'm gonna just remove that quickly and put that back into this space that you can see here and as I do so if you've never used this uh, type of a template before um, they do have some instructions here where it tells you what to do so the idea is that you would uh, start by putting a base slide preset into the timeline like we've just done uh, you can stretch the slide preset in the timeline to change the duration of the slide so depending on how long you want that to stay on the screen for um, and then you can select the text so that's here on the right hand side and obviously amend the wording that you have there in any way that you'd like and then place another new slide uh, preset directly on top of this one to bring in the next scene so as you can see here you've got um, a few options here you've got the background if you wanted to have a background you would just put that on top uh, you've got the base slide that we've just used we've got the flares so this is once you've put your um, Actually, let's have a look at that and see. So basically, if I put a new slide on top here and then put another new slide on top here. And as you can see, you could just keep stacking these on top. And the idea is that if I take off these instructions here by just unticking the details, you'll see here that we've got a drop zone that we can fill out. Now in order to fill out the drop zone, all I'll need to do is to uh, click into this section here for the drop zone on the right hand side and then go back into my pictures and select whichever picture I'd like to use. So for example, if I wanted this picture, I would just select this 
press apply clip and as you can see that has now fit into the drop zone uh, as I move along you've got another drop zone in the next slide in the new slide template that um, I had put earlier and just do the same thing and fill these out and the idea is that it will just basically flow from one scene to another without any keyframing or having to do any manual sort of uh, movement of the camera as it's all done for you you can literally just tweak these sections inside so looking here we've got an opener which I've just put down here to to the timeline and as you can see you've got full control over the colors so I've just changed the outline color uh, to a red color um, you can see here that if I bring this if I hover my mouse over it you've got a, a standard black well the background would actually be black um, and you've got a green um, sort of banner there with the uh, writing in the middle which is all customizable so um, what I've done here is I've put it down to my timeline and as you can see I've changed the colors of these um, so if I go to the right here you can see we've changed that to blue and red with a white background you just literally click into these and then amend the colors to whatever you would prefer as normal uh, if I move this along to the next slide um, you can see here that you've got control over the scale of the photo, the softness, if you wanted to have a more softer feel. Um, you can edit the text um, over here on the right hand side. And if you wanted to go even further by changing, I've just uh, gone ahead and used a completely different font. Um, so it's very, very flexible in terms, you can amend obviously the size, um, of the text that you're using if I do this so you can see um, and you can also come down here and change the colors using the face um, once again so very very flexible in indeed and as you can see if I move across I've put another slide in you can see how this just um, it has the transitions basically inbuilt so as you put the slide on top of it you don't need to worry about going to your transition section as this is all inbuilt for you as it comes on top so I've got another picture in here and you can see here that I've added a glitch this is just the glitch uh, that I've just put onto the timeline as such um, and the idea if you wanted to use something like this is once the new photo comes into play it will give a glitch like you just see there um, so it's a nice little effect if you want to use something like that um, and that's just before I've got the next new slide which I've just used from here to stack on top once again now on that new slide it does normally come with a text if you look here you can see there's a text that shows up um, but because that is quite flexible you can remove the text in which I've done in this case and I've actually brought down a lower third from this same pack and then I stacked it on top here and that lower third is this one here as you can see if I hover my mouse over it you've got a nice little black background covering the um, top part of the text um, and then you've got some text beneath that and that is all quite flexible you can see in here that what I've done is I've moved this across to the right hand side rather than the left I've changed the color so if uh, it says here that the text is uh, now editable so if I go into this you should see here that I've um, I've input the destination of where we are when this photo was taken I've changed the color to a blue color um, and I've also on the top added on a vignette template which is also from the pack here um, so very flexible you can add in lots of nice little effects and touches and as you can see I've just literally stacked them on top of each other um, before this slide here ends you can you can obviously uh, lengthen or shorten the uh, effects that you're putting on there um, and just before the slide ends I've once again got a new slide in place um, if you click on that you can see I've imported a photo in here um, and I've got a little flicker here and this flicker is also from the pack as you can see here so you can add and remove such things if you just wanted to give it a little bit more movement and then lastly I've got uh, 
an effect here called hair which if you look into the background you can see that it kind of um, gives like a little hairy sort of background while the photo shakes so lots of little things you can do here this is just a very short um, a very short option that you could use but you could stack these as long as you want or make the, the slideshow as long as you want um, and have a lot of fun with this and as you can see it's uh, quite different from the normal sort of slideshows that you'd expect to be able to create yourself uh, using Final Cut Pro so that is a brief description of the antiques uh, option or the antiques slides shall we say so if I come out of this, I've just basically put that into a compound clip. Okay, so the next set of templates here are called bit picks. And if I scroll down, you'll see this option here. It pretty much works. Um, all of these work in, in a similar manner. So you've got an opener, um, which if I scroll down, you'll see here. It's uh, got a white background with a nice box with the words in there. What I've done here is I've just dragged that down to the timeline. I've uh, been able to customize the background through the inspector uh, to change that to a light blue. And the slides of this one are quite interesting. So um, you'll see here that some have three or four different drop zone boxes. So you basically have a nice multi-screen effect within this template. So you can see here that the uh, the next layer comes in. Um, what I've done is I've changed the theme color. So if I hover my mouse over it, you'll see that the um, background is white and black. Now I've changed that here in the inspector uh, to a light bluish color. As you can see here, very simple to change. You just click into it as I explained before in the last slide and uh, amend it uh, to whatever color you like. I've just changed it to a light blue color. And once again, I filled out the drop zones and input the pictures. And you'll see here that as it comes in, it has a nice blur. And then if I play this back, you've got a zoom in on all the pictures. So you don't have to worry about keyframing any of these at all. Um, and just like the other plugin, you have lots of little things that you can add to this as effects, but all built in as title templates. And literally all you're doing is just stacking them on top. So here you can see I've got a little dust effect, which I've taken from here. If you look in the background or if I hover my mouse over it, you can see it's got this nice little dust particles going through the picture. It may not be something you want to put throughout the slideshow, uh, but it can give it a nice little effect. Uh, you can once again have a lot of flexibility in terms of how long or short you want that to be. Um, and as we move along, I've got the next slide that comes in. Uh, once again, I've been able to change the uh, wording on the lower third. Um, very, very flexible. Just scroll down to the bottom here and input whatever you'd like. Um, I've kept the color theme the same for this part of the slideshow. Um, and we've got the same type of effect going in here. It's all zooming in nicely. I've then got a flare effect dropped on top. And as it moves along, um, I don't need to worry about any transitions as it's all inbuilt. Um, and once you're done, you can then move on to the next slideshow. If I open that up, you'll see all flowing in the same sort of format. So I hope that makes sense. What I'll do now is um, I'll just come out of this and then I will play you a demo of how the whole thing looks like. And um, let me know your thoughts. I mean, we have tons of different templates in here that you can use. You've got fashion curves, um, on tour, which is a really nice one. Um, you literally, the, 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 procedure, the procedure, sorry, is just the same. You just stack these on top of each other um, and you've got up to 20 different themes. So this is really great value for money um, if you're interested in making some slideshows in Final Cut Pro, which are completely different from the norm. Um, and you know, it can actually spice up your slideshows. You could um, 
do this very very quickly and have a, a great looking slideshow which is very different from most other slideshows you see out there so um, let me know what your thoughts are on this I'll run the demo video now and then um, if you've got any comments or um, opinions about this uh, do do pop them down in the comment section below also to mention if you do like this type of content for Final Cut Pro don't forget to stick around subscribe and switch on your notifications as we will be covering a few more plugins in the near future so onto some final examples of what the product may look like for you once you've inserted your photos okay so we're gonna start off with the antiques slideshow Okay, so next up, this is an example of the BitPix slideshow. And on this section, we have the black and white fashion slideshow theme. Also on this template, you also have a nice sidebar which slides in and out. Moving on, we have an example of the photo reel slideshow. Okay, next up is an example of the photo minimal slideshow. So just to mention with the slideshow templates, you can use videos as well as photos. So in this example, I've just added in some video footage. In this section here, we're using the corporate slideshow theme. Moving on, this theme here is called the display box. Now this is from a pack called Expressions. Now I particularly like how the text is sticking as a 3D layer to the photos as they zoom out. Okay, so this next section is a pack called Fashion Lines. Okay, so now on to the next set of templates called Panel Revolution. And then on to some examples of the Parallax themes. Okay, so next up is probably my favorite from the pack. This is called Photo Cuts. You can see here how you've got some random fast cuts with zooms on here. Now moving on to an example called Photo Sheets. And then on to an example called Photo Strip. This theme here is called Travel Postcard. Another one here called Wedding Party and there are several more templates so definitely worth a check out. If you like this type of content please feel free to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell because we will be delving into some more Final Cut Pro tutorials very soon. Thanks a lot for checking this out and hope to catch you next time.